least it wasn't like a total bust. I got that train guy to wave at me. And then I saw a chipmunk in there as I was hiking out. So today I'm going out and shooting some content for a brand and I figured I'll just bring you guys with me and uh, kind of give you behind the scenes. I don't know how it's going to go but we'll see. <laughs> Plus I'm also shooting this all on a GoPro today. Um, hopefully it comes out okay. I know that GoPros can struggle with lighting and looking grainy and stuff but that's all I got right now so we're going to use it. Got the coffee, and we got all the camera gear. So we're good to go. We're listening to some Tyler Childers. Don't know if you guys ever heard of him, but I like his vibe, it's cool. This looks like a decent place to park. Okay, we are here. So, apparently it says that the trail is closed for construction. Um, I think there's like a bridge at the beginning of the trail and they're doing construction on it, so they're just closing the whole trail, I guess. So I am gonna try to just hike down through these trees and uh, we'll see if we can get down to the trail. Hopefully that does not cause an injury why would it I'm an athlete bro okay well maybe I won't be hiking through the woods that sign just made me feel bad I can't go hiking through there with that sign up so now I gotta try to find a different place to go which I did not have any alternative plan I guess we'll just look around the area and see if there's anything else we can go to. This is what I'm shooting with today. Just a simple GoPro. Like I said, hopefully the footage on there looks okay. But if it doesn't, then hopefully my personality makes up for it. <laughs> if only, right? Okay, we found another spot. We're gonna get down there, see how things are looking, see how the lighting looks. It is a little stormy looking today. It's kind of windy. So that might play a factor because I am taking videos for this brand. And if it's really, really windy, then that could mess with the audio and we do not want that. But so it's gonna be a trial and error today. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Also, I kind of wanted to show you guys, I have a little book here and this is like, it's kind of like my script and I have a, shot list here of the shots I want to get today yeah it just kind of gives me like a good a good little kind of schedule or objective for the day and I kind of know clearly like okay these are the shots I want this is what I want to say it kind of just breaks it down and makes it way more just attackable for me at least it's all in here it's all like I have this idea in here and sometimes it can just be rambling around in there doing whatever so it's good to get it down on paper it kind of gives it structure for me because when it's all up here, all these ideas that are just floating around in my head, it can be kind of overwhelming and a little intimidating because you're like, oh my God, I have all these ideas. How am I going to capture all this? And it kind of just can stress you out. So yeah, writing things down helps me a lot. Maybe if you're getting into this, maybe it could help you a lot. Something to think about. going out to explore. So we kind of found this little spot here. It's like this little old beach. 
This is kind of creepy little house right here. It's uh, kind of eerie. <laughs> but I was going to shoot some stuff here, but I don't know, like as you guys can tell, like kind of looks beat down. It just doesn't look that good. It kind of looks old and raggedy and sketchy, but I mean, it could be some cool photos, but I don't know if I want to do it for a brand video. But yeah, we're just going to keep walking around and see what we can find. I don't know guys, it's not looking too good right now. It's super windy, it's cloudy, and this spot I'm at is just, it's just not doing it for me. You know when you get to a place, some of you might be able to relate, uh, when you get to a place and it kind of just fires you up, like you're just, oh yeah, this is, a, this, is a, this is a spot, you know? I'm not getting that from this spot, man. It's just not doing it for me. I think I might need to pull another audible and just see if I can find somewhere else. Or might have to do another day, which sucks. I do not want to do another day, but sometimes you just got to take the cards as they're dealt. I didn't even press record. There we go. What the? You guys alright? Let me just let me just dust you off. <laughs> so right now I'm not the biggest fan of where I'm at. I'm not the biggest fan of what I'm shooting currently. And that happens. Sometimes you're just not in the groove. For whatever reason, you're kind of just in a rut and you're not like you're not creating stuff that you're super hyped about. I'm trying just to grind through that right now and just keep shooting. Why are you guys sideways? I'm trying just to grind through that right now and just keep shooting stuff in hopes that it kind of sparks the hype in me maybe. And also just having a plethora of, of content and, and an abundance of videos never hurts anybody. So even though I'm in a rut, I like to keep shooting and who knows where that could lead. I'm not thoroughly enjoying where I'm at right now. So I might switch spots again. I have another spot in mind. We'll see if any good can come out of that one. Just gotta keep pushing, keep grinding. Okay, so like I said, kind of shot a little bit of stuff there, but wasn't like super excited about any of those shots. So now I'm kind of just revisiting my script and revisiting my like shot list and kind of just trying to well up some like, just trying to well up some, some inspiration for myself. There's a lot of times where you come out and you wanna, you have all these ideas of what you wanna shoot and you're picturing these, these videos in your head. Sometimes it just doesn't go the way you're picturing it and kind of puts you in this rut kind of makes you like oh man like I don't even feel like shooting this anymore because it's not coming out like how I envisioned it it can be a grind you just got to kind of push through it and just keep going at least that's what I do but we did I think we did cross off a couple videos or a couple shots that I wanted to get so at least we're, we're going in the right direction we're going upward we're making progress it's all that matters okay one thing I will say about the GoPro is that the batteries die really quickly like I was just shooting down there maybe like an hour and this thing went from 100% down to like 40 in an hour. I'm like, man, that's just super quick. But that's why I bring my charger, my GoPro charger. So then in between shots or in between locations, I'm like taking the battery out and putting it on the charger, trying to get some extra juice. And sorry for all the dirt. My God, I got a dust. So like I said before, uh, oh, I'm on a, I think I just hit a curb. <laughs> Like I said before though, I think I'm gonna move spots. See if this next spot hits a little bit better. Oh. And if that doesn't hit a little bit better, then we might have to do a second day, which I am not wanting to do, but if we have to, we will. But let's see how this next spot goes. Okay, we are to the third spot. It's actually kind of like in a neighborhood, but there's like this hidden little viewpoint over the ocean, kind of hike back in the woods. So we're gonna go check that out and see if it's good. How's that saying go? Uh, third time's a charm. Let's hope that this third spot will do a little better for us. And if that does not work, if this spot doesn't work, like I said, we might have to do a different day. 
but I just texted my dad and told him how windy it is out here and he's telling me that back toward his place is still not windy yet so I'm thinking about pulling a 180 audible because right now I'm shooting out on like the coastline kind of like by the ocean I'm considering now contemplating just pulling a 180 audible and just going inland and shooting by the river or something because apparently it's not as windy over there so all this wind must just be coming off the water and it's just ruining all my plans <laughs> but you gotta roll with the punches sometimes so let's go check out this spot though and see how this does Okay, this is the third spot that I had in mind. This is actually one of my favorite spots. It's just this cool little viewpoint. Simple, but it's pretty beautiful. Okay, so I kind of like this spot right now. Uh, you got like the railroad tracks back there. And just kind of like a cool scenery. So I'm gonna try to get some photos. The telephoto lens on. Kind of doing a little bit of a sidetrack from the brand stuff, but I just like this spot to see if we can get any good photos or not. Okay, I got some photos, so now we're back to the brand stuff. I'm heading down this little trail, and it'll put me out on the railroad tracks, and that might be some cool stuff down there. We'll see. This is where I'm heading down right now. Railroad tracks straight ahead. See how that goes. <laughs> wow. Look at this water. Am I in the PNW or am I in the Caribbean? <laughs> Could have fooled me. I mean, look at that. I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. We made it on the train tracks. Just hope a train doesn't come wipe me out now. I'm gonna walk to the end of this and I'm hoping there's like this little cove over there where I can set up and get out of the wind and hopefully be able to make some good content in there. We'll see. Fingers are crossed. Wish me luck. We will find out. But can't be too mad at the view. That's the thing I always gotta remind myself is if I'm having a bad day shooting, and today's not that bad of a day. I'm probably just being a little baby, but I always gotta remind myself, I'm like, look at where I'm at. Look at where I get the privilege to be able to shoot my stuff. This is my home. Never gets old, I love it. to the other side of that corner that I was talking about earlier and it's not what I was hoping for uh, this is it it kind of just opens up and it's not that pretty I was kind of hoping that there'd be like this little cove over here like a beach style thing but it's not so this spot is looking like it's a bust as well That's three in a row I guess that's just the reality <laughs> so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna head back to the car and reassess everything. We'll see if I wanna go out toward the river like I mentioned earlier, um, maybe try out there. If it's a lot less windy, it could be a lot better to shoot out there, but it's already been a couple hours, like a few hours I've been going at this and it's kind of tiring. So I don't know if I wanna go all the way out there. It's like an hour drive to go inland to the river. We will, uh, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. We got this, we got this. Well, maybe some good will come out of this at least. Looks like there's a train coming. I love trains. They're always so cool to watch. We'll get a good video of this guy, hopefully. Okay, well, at least
least it wasn't like a total bust. I got that uh I got that train guy to wave at me. And then I saw a chipmunk in there as I was hiking out. And I think I got some good photos of him too. So see, not all things are bad when they seem like they are. There's some good in the bad. For sure. You know what? I think I changed my mind. I think I am just gonna shoot just right here. It's like a cool little cove, it's blocked from the wind. I think I'm just gonna shoot it here, shoot some stuff here. I wasn't originally psyched on this spot, but I think it's actually a decent spot. Worst case scenario, I shoot the stuff, I get home, I still don't like it. I can still go shoot another day if I have to. Like I said before, having too much content is never a problem. <laughs> so this is where I'm gonna be shooting. I got this camera set up. And then I got my phone set up. And then this is the scene. I'll be sitting in this chair and I'll be making some coffee. Hopefully it turns out well, we'll see. But it doesn't hurt trying. I do like this spot though. I just ran around like a chicken with his head cut off, but I think I got a lot of good content. I got so focused in, I didn't really bring you guys along behind the scenes very much, I don't think. It feels so good to capture some stuff and kind of feel good about it. Like I, I, not just kind, I, I do feel pretty good about it. That was a lot of shooting and a lot of stress. After trying today for hours and kind of just running into these walls all day, it feels awesome to get some clips in that I feel good about. It's the best feeling. So now I'm heading back to the car. I'm gonna get some food, because I haven't eaten yet today. And now we're just gonna relax. <laughs> back to the car. Feels good to go achieve something that you have in your head, and just getting it out and captured on video. Oh, best feeling, best feeling ever. I'm discovering a lot of complaints today about the GoPro. I know I'm complaining a lot about the GoPro, but the battery life, it, it sucks. They die at like 36%. There's like 36% left and it's powering off because of battery low. But whatever, we got what we needed to get. It ended up being a good day. We shot some good stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed that a little behind the scenes of shooting for a brand. It doesn't always go as planned. It can be tough, but it always feels good when you finally do get the stuff that you want to get. So but yeah, I hope you guys liked that. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing behind the scenes a little bit. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. It helps me more than you know. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me.